Welcome to Visuals Kingdom. I'm your host, Nick Metzger, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create epic stuff using the 3D camera tracker in After Effects. Start out by dropping your footage into a new composition and cut it as needed by pressing Command D. You can simply delete the leftovers of the clip and trim the comp to the work area. To make the shot look a bit cooler, you can use Lumetri and use a lot to enhance your colors. Now you need to track your shot. This means that your computer has to analyze what movement is going on in the frame. To do so, go into the Effects and Presets tab and search for 3D Camera Tracker. Drop it on top of your video layer and you will see that it starts to analyze the scene immediately. If you look on the left in the effect controls, you can see that the 3D Camera Tracker has a few settings. You should set the shot type to fixed angle of view most of the time. You only need to use variable zoom when you have a difference in focal length during the shot. You can leave show track points to 3D solved and check the box next to render track points. Now it's time for the advanced settings. Most of the time auto detect works fine for the solve method. Now check the box next to detailed analysis and that's it for the settings. Now you just need to wait until your analysis of the shot is done. Usually your warning banner should vanish when it's done, but sometimes it can happen that the analyzing process fails. This can be caused by a variety of reasons. Either it fails because the footage has too much motion blur or movement like cars and people in it, or it fails because the camera movement is too complex. But don't worry, if you think your shot should actually be fine but it still fails, there is an easy way to solve the problem. Just play around with the solve method in shot type settings and it should work fine. When the 3D camera tracker did a good job, you can see all those little colored tracking points. These are points detected by the software and they will stick to the scene. If you don't see them well, you can enlarge them in the effect controls on the track point size. When you hover over your tracking points, you can see a red target. This indicates the perspective of the object that you're about to place into the scene. To apply that 3D track to your text, either hover until you see a fitting target and then right click it, or select as many tracking points as you can as long as they lay on the same plane, which in my case is the floor. You can simply click and drag around them to make a selection. As soon as you're happy with your selection, right click it and go to create text and camera. You can see in your timeline that you now got a 3D tracker camera and a new text layer. To reposition the text, click on the arrow next to the colored rectangle and play around with the X, Y and C rotation. You can also use the scaling and positioning tools to put the text where you want to have it. When you're happy with the perspective, you're basically done. But now, let's make it look a bit cooler and more realistic. To do so, select the text layer and press Command D. This duplicates your layer. Then play around with the red, green and blue arrow, which represent your X, Y and Z axis, and try to position the text on the ground because we're going to use it as a shadow. When you're happy with the position, place the shadow layer under your main text layer and rename it to stay organized. Then go into the Effects and Presets tab and search for Tint. Apply the effect to your shadow layer and map white to black. Now go back into your Effects and Presets tab and search for Fast Box Blur. Again, apply this effect to the shadow layer and play around with the blur settings until you're happy with the result. You can also duplicate the effect to create a unique look. If you play that back now, you can see that everything sticks perfectly to your scene. Now that's the 3D camera track with text, but you can use it for nearly everything. You can place videos into your scene or logos or whatever you like. To do this, import your file into the composition and select the 3D layer icon, which is the little cube on the right of your file name. This applies the 3D track to your file and it will stick immediately like the text earlier. You can also rescale and reposition the file as you like and create some astonishing results. For example, we created this effect using the 3D camera tracker. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Now I want to know what you want to see next. So go down in the comments below and write a comment what you want to see and what you want to learn. And then press the like button and hit the subscribe button to help us help more people. And also watch this video. See ya.